and consider. Now, like Brother Sisi has said, Brother Mike has said, now is the time for us as African people, whether you were born in the Caribbean or you were born in Africa, now is our time to rise up and seal this foundation that Brother uh, Ibrahim Africa set up 100 years ago. If we don't do it for ourselves, we must do it for our children. A lot of people are saying our kids have joined gangs, our kids have this, our kids have this. I said, listen, don't blame the kids. Blame us. Because me, growing up in Africa, I would tell you straight up, if it wasn't the village that raised me, I wouldn't have been able to study holistic health, study holistic health, study holistic health, study holistic health. Because Education you get from the village, you could go to Columbia University a hundred times and you'll never get it. So, even in the communities that we live here in Brooklyn, in Queens, in Manhattan, we must always have that village on us. Now, our black women, they form one of the most important unit in our community. Educate a man, now get a job, start a business. But if you educate a, a woman, you educate a nation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we must pay particular attention to our black sisters. Because once we empower them, they will empower the community and empower the nation. Too many people are getting sick, not only in this country. When I, when I left Africa, I didn't even know of diabetes or high blood pressure. But right now, I'm getting calls from Africa to send herbs. So I said, hold on. Most of my organic herbs come from Africa. One of my cousins called me from Cameroon two weeks ago. She said, cousin, I have a terrible ear infection. Can you send me something? So I said, but the thing I'm going to send you, you already have. She said, what? This is how far our people have been taken away from our natural self. Okay? Now, true holistic health starts with cleansing. Now, interestingly, when God created us, African people, he gave us one gift. We call it melanin. Melanin is what gives you a beautiful. Okay. Just like how plants get the green, which is chlorophyll. Us African people, we have melanin. It is part of our DNA. Now, as a melanated people, our DNA was programmed to eat certain food. All of a sudden, you hear these people talk, organic this, organic this, organic this, like right? organic is something new. Organic has been around millions of years. Why people just discovered it recently? And now they go going all organic. Why us, the original African people who started organic, we eating processed foods? That is why when you drive around our communities, you see dialysis centers on every corner. Billions of dollars. The United Nations Health Organization announced about two months ago, and this is very important, they said 60 to 80 percent of the world's population gonna get cancer within the next two to three years. And they said most of it gonna be coming from Africa and Caribbean. So we have to change the way we think about health. You must understand one thing, health is a divine responsibility. I could lecture you all about health, I could provide you all the products, but you must take responsibility for your health. If you're drinking rum or liquor every day, you have to change that. If you're eating junk food all the time, you must change that. If you're using microwave oven every single day, you must stop. Start first by cleansing detoxifying your body. Every three to four months, you must do that because 
70% of your new regulation is right here. The fat. The rest is in your skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body. All right? So when you do the cleansing and detox, every three to four months, you change your diet. That's the next thing that I was getting to because exercise is just as important as the herbs, just as important as the nutrition. All right? And then we start to see some improvement. Now, they change our mindset to taking every little thing. You get a headache, you get a cold, you get this, you take this medication, popping pills. A sister came to me the other day. She put, she uh, turned her hand back top of my table. This sister on 16 different medication. Because you know why? She started with constipation and bloating of the stomach. She went to a doctor. A doctor gave her some medicine. The medicines, because all their drugs have the side effect. So when she started the medicine for constipation that the doctor gave her, it created a side effect. So the doctor gave her another medicine for the side effect. That medicine created another side effect. But I want that. So she cannot go to the pain. After she finished my detox, she called and she said, My brother, I have never felt so good in my life. I said, Yes, because once you remove that undigested fecal matter, more nutrients and oxygen is being taken into the red blood cell. And then the red blood cells distribute the nutrients to all the organs in the body. It's just like when a mechanic tune up your car, you're going to feel better. And then water is also very important. That is why when you're drinking water, you make sure it's alkaline water. At least a pH of 8 and above. Between 8 and 9 are better. Because you don't want to drink water that is too alkaline. You start to mess with yourself. You understand? So, now, another thing that we deal with is not only holistic health, we also deal with green technology. We have a training program where every unemployed brother and sister, we want them to come and take our solar panel training. The training is only three weeks. One and a half week of theory, one and a half week of practical. Once you empower yourself to this, green technology training. You could go back to Grenada, you could go to Trinidad, you could go all over the Caribbean and start a business. And that business will employ other people. So we are using green technology to start a movement. Because when Brother Mike and Brother Sisi talk about the UNIA, we must give an economic arm to that UNIA. And we could use holistic health and green technology to empower our people and to employ all these unemployed brothers and sisters who you see in the community. And then not only that, they'll be able to start their own business because our plan is to put solar panels in every building in this city, in the Caribbean and in Africa. This is a trillion dollar business. And the most I gave us the sun for free. So this technology we have, we could use it to children, and instead of even decreasing the industrial system, because I tell the young people in the community every day, I say, if you do foolishness, this man going to lock you up. Prison is one of the biggest business in the world, just like war. You understand? So by us training our youth through holistic health, Dr. Laila Africa, one of our partners, he has a class in holistic health. Just one month, you get a certification as a holistic health consultant. And after you finish Dr. Lila Africa class, you could open your own health food store, you could open your own juice bar. If you don't have the money to open a health food store, you could start right in your apartment and sell to everybody who is in your community. Let them come get their calling cards, let them come take diabetes, for instance. Diabetes is a pathology of the pancreas. Okay. Now, if you don't deal with it properly through organic herbs, 
through diet and exercise, the next thing your doctor's going to do is send you to a dialysis center. And once they put you on that dialysis, that's the beginning of the end. And we use very simple herbs. For the past three, four years, the Mosa is my witness. We've had almost 500 people come out taking insulin, come out taking their medicine. We even help some come out of dialysis. One brother who we got out of dialysis, his doctor called me about two months ago. He said, Yo, what are you guys doing? We're using the knowledge of the Most High and the natural products that the Most High has presented us to do. So if we could do it, they could do it. So this breaking the chain is just a beginning of a larger movement that is connected with other movements. And you all coming here tonight is a blessing. Because when we live out of here, you leave with new ideas, new concepts. We have everything in our hands to change our situation. Okay? And if you focus just the two things that we offer, holistic health, because people are tired, sick and tired of medication. Okay? Then number two, as a fact, the uh, UN uh, pan climate change just had a conference in Berlin, Germany, too. Now, this is why people, after that conference on climate change in Berlin, they made a big announcement. They said every government on this planet must stop using oil, must stop using fossil fuel, must burn in coal. So they are telling homeowners, if your power company gives you energy from oil, coal, don't buy from them. Insist that all of them get into solar. Small wind filters are renewable. So my sisters, 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 we are offering equal opportunity for everybody. We need proper registration for the solar panel, EPI for the stimulus, turbine. Empower yourself, we empower our community. Thank you so much.